Hi guys, welcome to another Terrain with Tom and thank you for watching this video. So um, I've got my Forge Shrine. I can't remember what the first word is. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got the Forge Shrine done to the point where I've based it yeah, using the basic method which you can find um, as a previous video to this one. And I've used the techniques described to weather and shades on like mechanics pipes, which again is another video you can find. And I've expanded that across the whole terrain piece so far. However, I promised you <clears throat> a gantries and walkways. So I thought I'd do a quick video. And I say it's quick because there's going to be four, sta four stages in this, which is going to have your gantries and walkways completed. So stage one, we're going to come in with Citadel Stormhill Silver. We're then going to pick out an, another colour, which I'm going to use skeleton bone because I've matched it on my other sort of like areas. This can be any colour, guys. So this could be your, your colour. If you do green mechanicus, blue mechanicus, this is the colour you want to use. Yeah. We're then going to give the whole thing a wash with dark tone from Army Painter. And when that's thoroughly dry, we're going to come back in with some AK Interactive Rust Streaks. And then that's it done. Okay, terrain, it really is less is more. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get on with it. So I'm just gonna get my trusty bit of paper, cloth or whatever you want. And I'm coming in with Stormhorse Silver. Now, what I'm gonna do here, guys, it's really, really simple. I'm gonna dry brush this in. I've got my big trusty terrain brush. Dry brush in, working it into the members of the brush, yeah? So almost all of it is gone. And then we're simply going to dry brush the whole thing, okay? And I'm taking extra time to try and get inside it, okay? It's like these areas, to get into them, yeah? Get into those rivets, give it a really good covering, okay? You don't need to water your paint down for dry brushing. You want it to be as sort of viscous as you can, so it adheres to the brush. Okay, I'm going to do the full surface and I'm going to come back to you. And there we are, so that's all the silver down. <clears throat> what it's done, it's going to areas like this here, which is like your pipes underneath, fans, so on and so forth. So that's, that's like a heavy dry brush. Now we're going to use our skeleton bone, or which could be your green or your blue or whatever contrasting colour you want to use. We're going to put some onto the palette. Tiny dab of water as always, guys. And now we're quite simply going to go across the top. Okay? I'm not worrying about being 100%, you know, perfectly accurate on this aspect here. It's lived in. It's walked on. Yeah? Just the top. When it comes to the grates and areas like that, leave that detail in there that you have previously dry brushed up, okay? Just build it up, nice and slowly. Things like bolts. Try and go around them. Things in there. The lightest of touches is needed here, okay? But that's essentially it. Go across the top of the panels, leave those bits in the middle that we've dry brushed up. Yeah? Go try and go around bolts, don't matter if you can, you know, or you don't want to. Yeah. It just makes the final effect with the, the quick shade all the better. Okay? So I'm going to fill those panels in and I'm going to come back to you. There we go. So that's all of the uh, the colour down. So it could be your your chosen colour of choice, so to speak. Um, so now we've got the under layer of metallic metallic gratings, and then top layer. So this is if somebody's gone along at some point and painted it with with a brush. Not not you know you know what I mean. So <laughs> we're now going to come in with dark tone. I love dark tone on terrain. I think it's a phenomenal 
phenomenal wash um, and it's really is guys it's going to be as simple as I'm just going to daub it on okay and I'm daubing it on the whole thing okay I'm going to go into the vents over the top coating that we've put down don't mind if it's touching the other bits that I painted because they've had a dark tone already and this is just going to help combine it all together okay that one's not massively expensive either you can you can actually buy it in great tubs um i just tend to go for the sort of two pound dropper bottle you get a lot in there yeah i'm just covering the whole thing okay get it in there leather it on lather it on leather it on <laughs> yeah i don't mind if it's been a pool um, it's a piece of terrain um the idea of these kits eh, is that they've been used walked on for millennia by servitors and, and so on and so forth and then they've probably been blown up so you know it's all good fun isn't it yes you get the idea of what that's doing i'm going to finish the dark tone on the whole thing and i'll come back to you on final stage okay so i've left that to dry the quick shade uh, overnight um mainly because there was a <laughs> the light gave out but and there you go so I, I quite like that it sort of instantly makes everything pop and it makes everything recessed and so on and so forth but we're going to come in one more stage which is with our AK interactive rust streaks give it a bit of a shake open it up now this stuff's an acrylic um, it's, it's a brilliant sort of technical addition to the painter's repertoire and I'm going to use a bit of packing sponge but I'm just going to pull that bit, okay, so I'm just going to break a bit off, okay, going straight into the lid, use a bit of paper, just to dab it off here, yeah? and then I'm just going to dab areas of dirt on, again, uh, this, this, this stage guys really is to your own content so to speak whatever how much you want to put on there is entirely up to you I'm going to go too overboard because you know you still want it to look like it, it, it what at one point was perhaps the colour that you originally painted on there um, but I like the idea of obviously like it's a, it's a tech world it's, it's an agro world whatever you want to think um, you know it's had a a kick in <laughs> there we go so i'm quite happy with that um i'm gonna let that thoroughly dry and um add it to our our terrain collection so yeah um four easy steps um i hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, there's gonna be more terrain from me in the future so uh yeah share share your terrain projects uh, Please like the video, uh, subscribe if you can. It does mean a lot, and it sort of it shows me the people are watching. <laughs> uh, share with your friends and so on and so forth. So thanks for watching, guys. There you go. Four easy steps to mechanicum gantries um, with a more sort of realistic grime look. Okay, so thanks for watching, and as always, guys, happy hobby.